Hello everyone, this is Chrissy. Thank you for joining me today. It's been a while since I've seen you, so it's nice to be here to share some things with you. Um, I have been in the mood for uh, slow stitching over recent times and uh, I've spent quite a bit of time just sitting very quietly and mindfully and doing some uh, lovely uh, slow stitching so I thought I'd share with you what I have created um, some time back I received this beautiful heart here from a lovely um, YouTuber who you may know, um, Loretta from Sparrow Hawker Designs. I entered her uh, challenge for her little, um, what do you call those little things? Oh, I forget what you call them, just a little inches, I think. And uh, I didn't win the challenge, but Loretta was very kind and generous enough to send me this beautiful little heart that she'd stitched. And uh, it gave me inspiration for um, what I've been working on, which was, I'm calling these my mindfulness hearts, because, um, as I said, I just sat quietly and stitched and um, created these. So uh, thank you, Loretta, for the inspiration. And here is my take on, um, on these little hearts. I've put, um, I might just zoom in a little bit here, I think. Oops, wrong way. I'll never get that right. And I may just adjust my camera for a minute. Just a moment. We've been having some rainy weather here over recent days, and I absolutely love the rain. I think I've mentioned that before. And I just love to sit quietly and you know, stitch or create uh, when it's raining. So this is what I've been doing. Um, here's this one. I've, um, the backs I've just left as they, you know, the stitching on the back, but they are actually um, quite a, a several layers of fabric actually with a little bit of um, batting um, interfacing into you know the one that you iron on interfacing between them so there's that one and then there's this one this one this is just a stamp on here bloom where you are planted I like the colors in that one and I've stitched around them all with um, a little blanket stitch and this is a lovely piece of it's actually tilde fabric and I've got little beads, uh, seed beads, tiny seed beads on each of them and French knots. You can see on this one the little seed beads here and um, French knots up the top here. And then there's this one. Put the word breathe on that one. And I practiced my um, slow stitching bullion. Made a little tiny bullion um, knot rose in the center of that one. Can you see that? I hope my camera is focusing enough. It's got little seed beads and the French knots that one and then this one serenity on that one and that's a piece of um, that's a piece of my cabbage dyed silk under there those are french knots or colonial knots i can't remember which 
and some baits along there. And I pleated that uh, piece of fabric there and made it into a fan shape. So there's that one. And this one, I've got the word peace on it. What fabric have I got on that? Or just a piece of maybe avocado dyed, I think, I'm not sure. Just a piece of um, sort of cheesecloth muslin type fabric on that one. It's got chocolate coloured beads on it. And um, some French knots here. Around here. Bit hard for you to see them, but uh, that one. And this one. The word peace on it. Got two with peace, that one. And this one. And that one. No, uh, this one, one, one had my cabbage dyed um, silk on it as well. That was in the greeny colour. And this one was. It's just the muslin again under that one. But uh, they've got a bit of body to them with the little fine interfacing um, ironed onto them. Some of them have got these little pearl, mother of pearl buttons. That's got little seed beads there. So I did enjoy making those, my mindfulness hearts. And um, I hadn't had enough of uh, slow stitching at that stage. So, um, well, this is a piece that I worked on some time ago, practicing my um, bullion knots. I haven't showed you this one. Um, you know, I'm I'm just a beginner with bullion knots, so um, I've been practicing and. You know, they may be not perfect, but I was quite happy with um, um, my efforts here. This is uh, some gypsophila with uh, French knots or colonial knots. I can't remember which I did. And this is a bunch of lavender. It's probably a little bit hard for you to see them, but... Uh, and this is a little forget-me-not spray here. So I'll just cut these up when I'm ready to and use them in um, journals and things. And then uh, these are ones that I've just done over the last couple of days. Um, these are just on little scraps of fabric again and um, I was practicing again my bullion roses. Can you see that? Uh, those of you who are, you know, seasoned <laughs> embroiderers and experts will, you know, they, they're not perfect, but uh, I'm happy with them and um, I'm trying to improve. So that's. That's what it's all about. So, um, I love this little spray here. So I did enjoy making these and I'll just cut these up and they'll go in journals. And uh, these ones were ones that were just on little pieces that I've cut out. Little, Lavender. No, were they lavenders? Um, I can't remember. Maybe not. Maybe um, this is the book that I've been um, working from. It was quite a funny story with this. I've had this book for absolutely 
I don't know how many years um, over 20 anyway and I couldn't find it and I knew that I wanted to find this book couldn't place it and I started looking in op shops for it and um, then one day I was doing my exercises in my lounge and I happened to look at the um, bookshelf and I thought that looks like that book that I've been looking everywhere for <laughs> and sure enough here it was it's um, an Australian book I think what's got Australian things in it so koalas and kangaroos and things so I think it is an Australian book but it's really good and these are the um, I'll zoom out a little bit these are the um, where are we some of the things I've been you know that was that there And that was a, a version of that. I only put one flower in it. That. And um, just trying to find what, it, what those. Um, can't remember what those are. Mm. I can't remember what those little those little ones were actually supposed to be, but they're cute. Very cute. I like those. And then there was that, that's that little uh, spray similar to that one there, just in a different colour. And then that's the bunch of lavender with bullion knots and I love the little bullion knot bow and then this one is um, gypsophila and this one you know it's very very fine it was supposed to be wisteria but um, I guess it could be wisteria or a bunch of grapes <laughs> but it's supposed to be wisteria so yes that's what i've been enjoying my mindful stitching my mindful slow stitching doing on these wet days that we've had uh, and uh, i've enjoyed every moment of it so i hope you enjoyed seeing my little projects and thank you very much for joining me bye